Hi, I'm Chris Jankowski. I'm an assistant professor of anesthesiology at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and one of the authors on a uh, study entitled Anesthesia and Incident Dementia, a Population-Based Nested Case Control Study. This study will be published in, in an upcoming issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. The population is aging, and with this, the incidence of uh, dementia is increasing. Over the past 15 years or so, there have been a number of clinical studies suggesting that uh, exposure to anesthesia and surgery induces uh, short and medium-term cognitive changes in elderly surgical patients. Although the definition and uh, existence of uh, postoperative cognitive dysfunction is somewhat controversial, a number of laboratory studies have uh, suggested that exposure to commonly used anesthetic agents uh, is associated with uh, deficits in learning and memory. In addition, they seem to induce changes that are consistent with Alzheimer's disease, such as capsaicin act activation, apoptosis, and increases in beta amyloid oligomerization. Our group sought to look at whether or not uh, exposure to anesthesia and surgery later in life increases the risk of subsequent dementia. We use the resources of the Rochester Epidemiology Project and the Mayo Clinic Alzheimer's Disease Patient Registry uh, to select uh, incident cases of dementia that occurred between 1985 and 1994 in Olmsted County and match them with uh, age and gender match controls. What we found was is there was no uh, relationship between exposure to anesthesia and surgery after age 45 and subsequent development of dementia. In addition, we found no association between number of anesthetic exposures and subsequent development of dementia. This information should be reassuring to older patients and those who care for them uh, who are considering uh, surgical procedures. We need to do further work in this area. Specifically, we need to examine longitudinal studies of populations to determine whether or not uh, anesthesia and surgery alters the trajectory of cognitive decline with age. In addition, we need to examine whether or not anesthesia and surgery uh, affect the, the trajectory of cognitive decline in uh, patients who already have mild cognitive impairment. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.